gonna inject you with allium sediment. Garlic. <laughs> Garlic don't work, boys! Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you for joining me for the great garlic debate of 2022. Now, garlic and fresh and saltwater clams, it's been a subject that's been around for decades now. And opinions have ranged from, you have one corner, garlic is a cure-all. If you're blind, take some garlic. If you have scoliosis, take some garlic. If you have a low credit score, take some garlic. It'll cure everything. And then in the other corner, you have the garlic does nothing people. Like, garlic does nothing to help your fish tank. And hey, it doesn't even make a marinara sauce taste better. So your buddy Vinny, I've decided to dive headfirst, do some research, and see what we find. Now, whenever you get an outbreak of ick or white spot disease, it's terrifying. You look at your, turn on the light in your aquarium, and you see all these white spots on your fish, all these parasites hanging on. The first thing is, what do you do? Now, a lot of people don't like chemicals, so they're looking for the natural way. So, they come across garlic. A lot of people in the fish keeping community are buying these garlic based medications. So the manufacturers, they're just simply giving the people what they want. Now the list of manufacturers has jumped onto this bandwagon is truly impressive. Just about every major manufacturing is marketing its own brand of garlic extract. Various brands of fish food are now even promoting that they have added garlic to their recipes. And yet, none of these alleged benefits have been proven. So before you run off like a mad chef just dumping garlic into your tank, let's see what's going on. Speaking of garlic, have you ever heard of the garlic and onions diet? You eat garlic and onions only for a whole week. Now, you don't get much thinner, but people will stay away from you so you seem smaller. What we do know for sure is garlic contains a powerful chemical component, which is called allicin. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, my allicin. Tell them, Fred. Studies have shown that garlic is definitely an appetite stimulant, which if you think about it, just increasing a sick fish's eating will, as a result, help boost the fish's natural immune system. Also, studies have shown that the allicin in garlic can kill some, I say some, fungi, bacteria, and even viruses. But one of the challenges there is obtaining the right garlic extract, the proper dose, and the frequency to maintain proper levels. Now that we've established that garlic does have many proposed benefits backed by studies, some will still say in their experience, garlic does nothing. The big question is though, does it kill ick? Because I see that all the time. Garlic cures ick. Well, does it really? Let's take a look. We're gonna start with freshwater egg because freshwater and saltwater egg are two completely different organisms so let's tackle the freshwater first like i said finding ick in your freshwater tank can be a scary experience ick is a parasitical infection so let's see what some studies say about that here's one study by the italian journal of animal science showing garlic very effective at killing a crustacean parasite as well as a alexandria journal of medicine which study which also says garlic was very effective against a crypto parasite another study states that garlic will kill ick but that's based on the dose and just dumping any old garlic is not going to work now 62.5 milligrams of the extract is needed to be lethal it must be maintained until all parasites have reached the theron stage this treatment is only effective in this stage of the parasite's life cycle. So if you have ick in your freshwater tank and you want to avoid chemicals and you want to go to natural route, I recommend fresh pressing your own garlic. It's the most effective at killing parasites. You press and you mix the juice with the food. Now I know you're going to say, but, but I got food with garlic in it, Vinny. Do ya? Please hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe and smash that notification bell. Thank you. Look, a lot of foods say they have garlic in them. 
But that's a marketing ploy, all right? It's not going to kill the ick unless you have the right dosage. Now, the one I would recommend if you don't want to press your own is New Life Spectrum's TheraPlus A, which has enough to kill some parasites. Now, garlic is also shown in studies the ability to reduce or remove internal parasites as well with correct dosage. So don't go dunk garlic in there and wish for the best. Now, let's get to the one that all the debate is really about. Does garlic kill marine ick or white spot? This one, this one here has got the saltwater community pretty divided. A one school of thought says marine ick and just about anything else is easily cured by feeding garlic. Easily? And you don't need, listen to this, you don't need the hassle of a quarantine tank. Okay. Now, the other side says garlic has never been conclusively proven to cure marine ick. Many people will report that they have used it and their fish have gotten better. But these are not controlled studies. Just as many people have used it and their fish end up dying. The reason many people think it works is because it has been proven to entice a fish's appetite, which we talked about. So when you take a sick fish who hasn't been eating well or regularly and you supplement its food with garlic, it's definitely more likely to get to go for that food, eat more of the food, and oftentimes get better. They also go on to say, garlic does not cure marine ick. Copper, hyposalinity, tank transfer, and heat are the only true methods. So what do you guys think? Are you thinking or have you used garlic in your tank? Let me know. Please leave a comment down below. I'd like to know what your experience is with this because I'm getting conflicting reports here. Hey, go check out my merch, Vinny's Aquatics merch. Join the Vinny's Aquatics Army at my Teespring store. Link below in the description. Now back to the regular programming. All right, let's wrap this up with a nice little bow on top. Here's the recap. Garlic as an appetite stimulant has pretty much been proven. It also seems to have a very positive effect when used on bacteria. It can, in some cases, kill freshwater ick when dosed in rather high concentrations. Just because it's in your food, just because it's in your food, don't think that the concentration is high enough to kill your ick. It might get your fish to eat, it might help boost its immune system, but in order to kill the egg, it has to be, as I mentioned before, in a rather high dose. Now, it also might be an effective dewormer in freshwater fish. All that, I'll give you. But none of that means it will do anything against marine egg when added to the food of an infected fish. So save your money when it comes to that. All right, guys. That's pretty much my thoughts on the great garlic debate of 2022. What do you guys think? Leave some comments down below. I really want to know what you guys think. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time on Finney's Aquatics. Woo!